Hi there, we're looking at another nine mark question from our Grade Booster 2023 case study, James Fitness PLC. And this one is all about some economic data in Appendix D, specifically economic growth and inflation. Here's the question on screen. Analyze the impact of the economic growth and inflation data in Appendix D on the profits of James Fitness PLC nine marks. What's that question about? What's the examiner looking for? Well, our start point is obviously the topics that we need to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of. And uh, well, it's in, it's economic growth and inflation. So two aspects of the economic environment. So those two specifically and our argument or arguments need to get to the hows and the whys need to get to the impact on profits of James Fitness. Now, this one's a, a good question. You need to think about, well, how many uh, points will I need to develop here? Well, the examiner specifically asked for you to consider the impact of two pieces of data from Appendix D. So while she could write it about it all in one great big point, I think the obvious way to do is to deal first with economic growth data and then deal with inflation data. So effectively treat them as separate points. And uh, we're asked to consider the impact. So you could either have uh, two negative, two positive, or one negative, one positive impact on profits. It's up to you. Well, just going back to the case study, this is a good example of how we can use appendix data or appendices data uh, to help provide our context. And of course, the question explicitly asks us to use that data here, so we have to anyway. Appendix D had some forecast economic indicators uh, for the UK. And uh, well, it made reference to two in particular, didn't it? The question, economic growth, that's the annual change in GDP. We are told it's going to be minus 1% in 2023, so a reduction in the value of the economy plus 2% in 2024. So we need to use that data in some way. Uh, the inflation data, plus 8%, the forecast for 2023, and uh, plus 4%. That doesn't mean the prices are falling. That means that they are still increasing, but not by as much in 2024 as in 2023. So what do we glean from that? Well, we know we need to develop two impacts on profit. The economic growth well, that's suggesting there's going to be a downturn, a reduction in the value of economic economic activity in 2023. A consequence of that might be various things, but one of which in our market here, which is health and fitness clubs, is potentially an impact on demand for a club or memberships, gym memberships, possibly as a consequence of households having, having lower income. So I think that would be my point to develop there. And then uh, moving on to the inflation data, well, lots of potential impacts but I think one of the issues here is uh, high inflation is going to create pressures for extra costs for the business, for example, from staff and from suppliers. So that's the point that I would develop, which I'll show you in a second or two in response to this question. Shall we have a look at my two suggested uh, paragraphs for this? Lots of different ways of answering this question. These are just two examples. Well, uh, as I say, I mentioned uh, the, exam the examiner here is asking us to consider two aspects of the economic data. So I'm going to deal with economic growth first and then move on and deal with inflation. So here's my point on economic growth. Let's read it through and then we'll highlight, highlight some of the, uh, the technique. So one impact is lower profits because of an economic slowdown. Full stop. That sets the point. I now need to explain how and why profits will be lower because of this economic slowdown, this negative GDP. So Appendix D indicates that the value of GDP will fall by 1% in 2023. So I don't need to define economic growth. I've demonstrated knowledge and understanding with that first line. Uh, and only rise slowly in 2024. Well, so what? Well, this indicates an economic slowdown in 2023, which may result in households and consumers having lower disposable incomes. How and why now? We need to get to profit. So as the income elasticity of demand, or YED, for the luxury segment is plus 2.1, we're told that in another appendix, demand for James Fitness memberships may fall if incomes fall. For example, a 1% decrease in incomes during the slowdown could lead to a 2.1% fall in membership revenues, as well as lower sales from customers in the bars and on premium fitness classes. Consequently, as many of James' fitness costs, such as club rent, are fixed, this may reduce profits in the short term. So lower incomes, reduced revenues, 
largely fixed costs likely to result in lower profits as a consequence of the economic slowdown. And just to show you the application there in red, uh, we've drawn some information from the data. Um, and uh, we've also made a nice link to the YED stats in another appendix because clearly it helps us explain how lower incomes could actually have a disproportionately larger impact on demand for James Fitness memberships and for spending in the, in its uh, in its clubs. So I think that's good. A bit of such a seasoning in there, some nice application. Now we need to move on and make a short point about the possible impact of inflation. And as I mentioned, I was going to go down the cost route. So let's have a look at this. This answer. Uh, another impact is lower profits from increased costs. So I need to explain why that is. Well, Appendix D indicates that on average, prices in the economy will rise by 8% in 2023 and continue rising, albeit at a lower rate, into 2024. So what? Well, a likely consequence of higher inflation is demands for pay increases from James Fitness staff, uh, such as fitness instructors and physios. And similarly, suppliers of items uh, such as energy for the clubs and uh, ingredients for the club cafes may seek to pass on their higher costs. So these staff and supplier cost pressures may therefore result in higher operating costs for each club and consequently lower profits unless James Fitness is able to pass on uh, these costs to members via increased subscription prices and higher prices for premium classes. So there we go. I've explained that uh, inflation is likely to lead to demands for higher costs from staff and suppliers, and that will drive up operating costs in James Fitness and profits will fall unless they're able to pass on perhaps some or all of those costs to consumers and I think um, or members. And I think that answers the question. And again, there's some nice such as seasoning in there. So such as energy for the clubs, such as fitness instructors and physios. And also we've uh, we've interpreted the data in the appendix. So we've, we've applied the data in Appendix D. And therefore, I think taken together, those two points meet the demands of the question. And I'd be pretty pleased to get to eight or nine out of nine, I reckon.